hello you guys today i'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beanie hat this is actually the matching set to the rose scarf tutorial i made um just in a different color it's up to you guys to decide if you guys want to add a flower the rose i was using for that video on my hat is the same exact rose i made for the scarf you just stop at the rose and um you close it off and you just sew it onto your hat another thing you can do is just add a simple flower something like this and um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I got the flower done because it's actually the same exact flower we're going to be using for the base of our hat. Um, another thing I did is to match this hat is this round scarf. And I'm really loving this scarf. It's in a pattern that matches the hat. As soon as I get a chance, I'll show you guys how to make this um, scarf as well. But today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beanie hat so that you guys can have a pair, a matching pair for your rose scarf. Let's get the tutorial started. For this project, you're going to need a yarn, color of your choice, a pair of scissors, and a crochet hook. This is the crochet hook size I'll be using. I'm going to begin by leaving a couple of inches behind. I'm going to grab my crochet hook. I'm going to cause a little bit of tension twist it and rotate it all the way around. With this hand, I'm gonna grab the little tail. Then with my main source of yarn, I'm gonna wrap it around my crochet hook and bring it in through the little loop I've created. So I'm starting off with a chain of two. I'm counting the first one as one and the second one as two. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the first stitch. Grab that yarn and bring it in through the first stitch. And right there, you guys can see I have three little um, three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to be placing my crochet hook in the same second stitch ten times, forming a circle. So I'm just going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, place it in the first stitch, grab that yarn, bring it in through the first stitch. There's my three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. So I'm going to continue doing this ten times. Well, I already did two, so I'll only have eight more times to go. I've gone all the way around ten times and you can see it formed a little circle. What I'm going to do now is this is the first one we started off with. I'm going to get my crochet hook and I'm going to go directly in through there. You can see the two, it should look like two little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through those two little loops. And now I'm going to bring it in through the last stitch. And that just completely sealed off our first round. What I'm going to do now is a little chain of four. I'm counting this one as one. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in until I reach my little chain of four. So there we have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and in the first, same stitch we started off the little chain, I'm going to place my crochet hook in there, grab that yarn, bring it in through there and there's my three little loops. Now I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in only through the first little loop. I continue there with three. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook one more time, bring it in again only through the first one. I continue with three. Now the third time I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through all three of them. So now what I'm going to do is again I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go back into the same stitch we began with. So I'm placing my crochet hook in there. I'm going to grab that yarn and there's my three loops again. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the first one, I continue with three. Again, we're doing the same thing, going through the same process. And the third time, I'm going to bring it in through all three of them. Now to end, I'm going to be ending with a little chain of two. I'm counting this one as one, two. So now I'm going to directly go into the following stitch of our circle. I'm not going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook first. I'm just going to directly go in there, grab that yarn, and close it off with the little stitch we have there. So basically the process is going to begin all over again. I'm going to begin my little chain of four and do the same exact thing. So here I've completed another flower petal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly into the following stitch. And this is the pattern we're going to be following. 
all around the little circle. I'm going to be going into each of the stitches that you see there. And um, that's going to form the first round for our hat. I've just completed my last flower petal. What I'm going to do, there's a space left here. I'm only ending with a single little loop. I'm going to directly place my crochet hook in that stitch, grab that yarn, bring it in, and now bring it in through that last little stitch. Now here's the little flower. This is the inside part of the hat. This is going to be the outside part of the hat, and you can see that forms a little flower. On some of the hats, I've created these little flowers and just added them. This is completely optional, but that's this is the way that you would make those little flowers, but it's also the first round for our hat. I'm not counting the first circle as a round. It's just the base for the hat, and starting from the flower petals, I'm counting this as round one. Now that we're here, what we want to do is we want to start round two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a chain of four, which is in between the last two flower petals. So I'm going to count four. I'm counting this little loop as one, two, three, and four. So now we have this extra little piece of braid. We're going to look at the flower petals. Each of our flower petals consists of three spaces. Here's one, two, and three. We're not going to worry the entire design about space two and three. We want to concentrate on the first space because that's the one we're going to be using each time. So what I'm going to do now that I've completed my chain of four, I'm going to directly place my crochet hook in through that space, the first space of the flower petal. I'm going to grab that yarn, bring it in through the first space of our flower petal, and now I'm going to bring it in through the last stitch of our braid of four. And now we're on top of this flower petal. What I'm going to do here is basically begin the process again. I'm going to begin a chain of four. I'm counting this one as one. I wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. There's two, three, and four. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and place it back into that first space of our flower petal. I'm going to bring that yarn in through there and there I have my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and only bring it in through the first little loop. There I continue with three. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and again only bring it in through the first little loop and still I continue with three little loops. Now the third time I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. So again I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go back in to the first space of the flower petal from round one. I'm bringing it in through there. Again, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the first one. Again, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the first one. I continue with three. Now this third time that I wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, I'm going to bring it in through all three of the little loops. And I'm going to finish off with a little chain of two. I'm counting this one as one. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in one more time. So here I have another little flower petal. So what I want to do is I want to jump to the next flower petal. Remember we're only worrying about the first space of each of the flower petals. So I'm basically going to place my crochet hook in through there, grab that yarn, place it in the last stitch of the first flower petal that we worked on from round two, and I'm going to begin the process again. I've just completed round two, and this is what our little hat's looking like from the inside, and this is what it looks like from the outside. What I like to do after completing round two is I get a safety pin, and I like placing it over that area because I know every time that I pass the little head of the safety pin, I've completed one round and I'm beginning a new one. So to begin round three, it's basically the same thing. We're going to start off with our chain of four. This one here counts as one, or I'm counting it as one, two, three, and four. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, place it in the space of the flower petal where we began our chain, which is the first space of the flower petal. There I have my three loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in through the first loop. I continue with three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, bring it in a second time through the first loop and I continue having my three little loops. Now the third time that I wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, I'm going to bring it in through all three of the little loops. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to be ending it with a little chain of two. I'm counting this one as one and two. So now I'm going to move over to the next flower petal. And can you guys hear Kiko? 
<laughs> he's being he's talkative right now so I'm going into the next flower petal and I'm only remember concentrating on the first space of the flower petals I'm gonna place my crochet hook in through there grab that yarn and close it off like that and now I'm ready to begin my new chain of four and begin a new flower petal so all around round three I'm going to be doing the same exact thing I've gone all the way around round three and I know that I've completed the round because here's the head of my safety pin so that's what our little hat's looking like now what I'm going to do here and round four is the only round we're going to do differently I'm going to begin the same exact way with a little chain of four so I'm counting this one as one two three and four and I'm going to create my flower petal the same exact way that we've been doing so I'm just going to really quickly try and complete the little flower petal so I can show you guys where we're going to be placing the flower petal so I've completed my little flower petal here now what we've been doing so far from rounds one to three is we've been placing them directly on to the first area of the flower petal what we're going to do for this round because we want to expand our, our little hat is in between each flower petal there's two spaces we're going to want to place our crochet hook in the first space so what I'm going to do here is ignore the first, the second space we're never going to have to use that one so just remember in between each two of the flower petals there's two little spaces from the previous row we're going to be placing our crochet hook in the first space I'm going to directly place my crochet hook in through there grab that yarn and close it off ending with a single little loop I'm going to again begin the process of creating a flower petal same exact way we've been doing once you've completed your flower petal now you're going to move over to the flower petal from the previous row the first space again so I'm going to place my crochet hook in through there grab that yarn bring it in and close it off and again begin the flower petal so once you've completed the flower petal here you're going to come directly to the two spaces place it in the first space make your flower petal and then again connect it to the following flower petal and we're going to be doing this all around round four I've just completed round four and this is what the inside part of our hat is looking like and then that's what the outer part looks like so now we're going to begin round five now from round five all the way to round ten they're going to be exactly the same way we did rounds one to three so all I'm going to do is start a chain of four I'm counting this one as one two three and four I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook place it in through the first part of that flower petal where we left off I have my three little loops there I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook place it in through the first stitch there I have my three little loops again I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook for a second time and I'm only going to place it over the first stitch again now the third time that I wrap the yarn around my crochet hook I'm going to bring it in through all three of those little loops so I'm going to do the same thing again going into the same lower stitch and I'm going to be finishing off with a little chain of two I'm counting this one as one and two so now I'm going to look for my next flower petal which is right here I'm going to go into the first space of my flower petal directly in there grab that yarn and now loop it into the last little stitch and basically that's what I'm going to be doing all around rounds five to ten I've just completed round 10 and this is what the hat looks like from the outer part and this is what the hat looks like from the inside part what we want to do now is we want to start tightening it um, so what we're gonna do I'm gonna get my crochet hook and I'm gonna place it back where I left off and each of our stitches like we said consists of three sections so we have one two and three what I'm going to be doing to tighten my hat is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook I'm gonna go into each of these spaces one time there's my three loops I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and just bring it in 
through the three loops. Again, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook going to the following space. And basically, I'm going to be doing this all around round 11. Now we're beginning round 12 and I move my safety pin a little bit higher so that I know exactly when I'm ending my rounds. So I'm beginning round 12. What we're going to do here is very simply wrap the yarn around your crochet hook, go into the stitch, bring that out, there you have three little loops, wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. We're going to be doing this to the following 10 stitches. Once you've gone into your 10th stitch for stitch 11 and 12, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, go into stitch 11, grab that yarn, bring it in through stitch 11, there you have three little loops. Now you're going to go directly into stitch 12, grab that yarn and bring it in. So there you have four little loops. We're going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and bring it in through the four little loops. And again, we're going to continue the process. We're going to go into the following 10 stitches and for stitches 11 and 12, we're going to do just what I showed you here. So I'm going to go all the way around round 12, doing exactly what I showed you. I've just completed round 12. I'm about to begin round 13 and round 13 is going to be our last round. For this round, we're going to be following the same exact pattern we did for round 12. So we're going to go into the 10 stitches, we're going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, go into the stitch, grab that yarn, bring it in through the stitch, there's the three loops, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and bring it in through the three loops. So I'm going to continue doing this to the following nine. Once you've completed your 10 stitches, for stitches 11 and 12, we're going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, go directly in to stitch 11, grab that yarn, bring it in through stitch 11, Again, you're going to go directly into stitch 12, grab that yarn, there you have your four little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. So I'm just going to continue this pattern all around round 13. I've just completed my last round. What I'm going to do here is I'm not going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm going to go directly into the following stitch, grab that yarn, bring it in through the stitch and close off the last stitch. I'm going to be doing this two more times, going directly in, grabbing that yarn, bringing it in through the last stitch and for the last time I'm going to do the same thing and bringing it in through that last stitch. What this is going to do, it's going to give me, let me show you, um, an even line right there. You can see it just looks nice and even. Now if we flip it to the back I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to tighten that. I'm going to choose a stitch from the back. Place my crochet hook in through there. I'm going to grab the main source of yarn and bring it in through that one and then in through this one. I'm going to go a little bit further down. I'm going to go into another lower stitch. Grab that yarn and bring it in through there. And again, one more time. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull it, I'm going to grab my scissors, and I'm just going to cut it off right there. And I have these two little sides. What I'm going to do here is a knot. And that's how I'm going to be finishing off my hat. If you have a better way that you like to finish off your projects, then this would be the time to do it. Um, I've told you guys before, I've never had any kind of problems with um, my projects coming undone when I do the knot. I'm not even sure how many I did here. I think, I'm not sure what number this is, but I'm really tightening it up. I'm going to get one of the ends, cut it off the other end very carefully, making sure I'm only cutting off a little tip. And here it is. Um, that's where we finished off the project. Let me show you guys. Let me take the safety pin off. Now what you can do also, you can finish off. You can't even tell where we finished off the project. It's just nice and round. Let me make it a little bit bigger. It's just nice and round all around. What you can also do is, um, if you're going to be placing a flower, which I don't think I will be for this particular hat, um, what I like to do is instead of closing it off, 
on the inside I close I pull the thread through through the outer part and I make I finish it off there and then I just place the flower over that area but here you could see um, that it's not even noticeable where we finished off our project let me show you that would be the area right here so it just looks nice and even to the entire little hat so this is what the outer part looks like and we still have this little tip and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to this little tip I'm going to bring the little yarn in to the inside so I'm placing my crochet hook in through the little hole and if you want to make your little hole tight tighter then what you would have to do is just pull on this um, little yarn and that would automatically make your little um, hole tighter I like leaving mines about that size but let me show you I'm pulling it from the bottom and see what happens it just becomes nice and tight so it's up to you to decide how big you want your opening from the from the center so I want mine a little bit more open so I'm just gonna place the opposite side of my crochet hook in through there so that the opening becomes a little bit bigger I want mine about that size so now I'm gonna go back to the inside part and I'm gonna finish it off the same exact way I, I showed you guys the same exact way I finished off the the last area so I'm just going to pull that yarn through there. I'm going to bring it in one time like that. And I'm going to pull it. There we go. So now this next time, I want to make sure that the little hole stays a little bit open. So now this second time, I'm going to make a little knot. Again, finish off your project however you feel the most comfortable. So I'm just going to pull it halfway and I'm going to make a little knot. I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to clip off this end and I'm going to clip off that end. And there you have it. There's the completed project. There's the little hat. And basically that's it. Let me show you guys what this looks like. This is the inner part. And like I said, you guys can even make a little flower in the shape I showed you the way we started the hat. And you could place it over a corner and it looks so cute it looks very pretty but for some reason I'm gonna keep this one like this look how beautiful that stitch is it's just absolutely beautiful and it looks very pretty it also looks very pretty for little girls adorable and um, basically that's it I hope that you guys give these a try